gonna be telling y'all or teaching y'all how to get over a breakup. I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to get over your motherfucking ex. Yo, ex, yes. Rule number one. Rule number one. Tip number one. Delete all photos, videos. Step number three is to glow up. Cause I'm a my hair done. Period. Done. I'll get my nails done. Period. Done. I'll get my feet done. Period. Period. Exes misses you the most when you glow up. Be a hoe. <laughs> like, when you single, you can do what the fuck you want. So be a fucking hoe. <laughs> What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Alexis Dominique. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button because I hope your girl so so much. We on the road to your motherfucking cat. Okay, I know I'm looking bummy, though, but don't mind that. My birthday coming up, March 2nd. Hey, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get cute, like in a few weeks from now but right now i'm looking dusty so as you can see by this how do you guys i'm be telling y'all or teaching y'all how to get over a breakup all of us in the world has been through a breakup boys and girls like it don't matter we all been through it and yeah i'm gonna be teaching y'all how to get over your motherfucking ex yo ex yes yeah, so you want to keep watching like this video and yeah let's go so basically Rule number one. Rule number one. Tip number one is to cut off all communication. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's because if you don't cut off all communications, then you're like forced to keep talking to your ex and then emotions start filling up and then you're going to cry and then all of that stuff. So you want to cut off communications. That goes for message, snap, Instagram, unfollow them on all social media. That's in step number one. I'll follow them on social media, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Tinder, anything you got them on, unfollow them. Then block them on your number because so they don't text you. So they don't text. Daddy calling my phone. I told you before that it's over. Leave me alone. Rule number two, if you rule number two, rule number two, tip number two is to delete all photos, videos, whatever in your camera. You know, in your snap memory. Okay, I got a lot of relationships in my snap memory. I'm not even gonna cap, like I got a whole bunch. It's just too much to delete because snap just builds up, builds up, builds up, and I got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. So if you wanna got time for that, then do that, but I don't got time for that. So, but I do have time is to delete it out your camera roll so you don't see it in your phone. You don't see it in your camera roll. So, you know, you don't see it at all. So, I say delete all, you know, videos and pictures and stuff like that. Because if you keep them, you're going to reminisce, baby. You're going to reminisce. Reminisce, a hey. Reminisce. And you don't want to do that. You want to boss up and be on bitch and, you know, move to the next, you know. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. I'm so fucking grateful for my ex. And I move on to the next, period. Like, um, Ariana said, period. But yeah, so that's step number two. Rule three. Step number three is to glow up. Cause I'm a boss. Um, the I hate when girls be like sad. And it's okay to be sad because I, I was I was that girl. Like, I was crying every day. I was sad, I was reminiscing, and all that. But then I see my ex going out, partying, talking to girls, all that stuff. I'm just like, he ain't thinking about me. So why the fuck am I thinking about him and giving him my fucking energy that, like, no, like, no. <laughs> so what you think I'm going to do? I'm going to boss the fuck up. So I get my hair done, period. I'll get my nails done, period. I'll get my feet done. Period. I would get, you know, if you like getting your lashes done, get those done. Period. Get your eyebrows done. Period. Because you feel like a brand new bitch once you get your eyebrows done. Comment down below if you feel like that because I feel like that. So I want, woo, that bird just hit that window. <laughs> Y'all heard that, babe? That bird just flew <laughs> to the window. <laughs> Damn, I'll be okay. But yeah, so then I'll get my hair done and buy a cute little outfit and then glow the freak up because your exes misses you. Exes misses you the most 
when you glow up and you forget about him you're not like posting like subliminal message on you know social media because if you do that they know that you're bothered and they're going to keep doing stuff that bothers you to make you sad and make you upset therefore you need to be your own boss and boss the fuck up and be like no nigga i don't need you i don't need you i don't need you i don't need you but i want you I don't need you, but I want you. Yeah, but I want you, but you're not gonna know that I want you because I don't need you. Period. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, you wanna glow the heck up. So, boom. That's step number four is to hang out with your friends. Yeah, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party. With your family whoever um to get your mind off of that person because if you don't get your mind off of that person if you're just sitting at home you know chilling watching to watching tv that's great and all but like like an hour goes past or two hours go past then you want then you like reminiscing about what he doing and shit like that and then you going stalking his page seeing who he talked to seeing who he with and all that stuff and that's not good you need to keep yourself occupied you need to keep yourself busy so the main thing is to hang out with your girls like hang out with your girls especially your single friends um, cause your single friends been single for a while and they know how to, you know, party. Yeah, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party. You know, they know how to party, they know how to keep it going, they got hoes. So, you know, you've been out the game for a minute and, you know, you just want to keep yourself busy. Like, go to a club, go to a hookah lounge, go to, go to bowling, go shopping, like, go, go search for a new dude. Like, even though you're not ready for a relationship and you still have love for your ex and you really care about your ex, but in your mind, you need to move on because then I'm telling you, that dude is not thinking about you. I'm telling you, I've been there. Like, I'm still dealing with it. I'm still dealing with the heartbreak. I've been with the same dude for like three years. And, you know, nothing's changed. He's always cheated on me. He always lies to me. And, you know, you know, at some point, it's my fault because I keep letting him back in. But, you know, a bitch was in love, love, hello, me. I was in love, and I still love him to this day, but, you know, that nigga in a whole nother situation with another girl. So I'm just like, why am I crying? Why am I be trying to be like, why am I depressed? Why am I crying and sad when he's not he's not sad at all he has a whole nother girl I would play them. and you know it's hard to see someone that you really care about it's hard to see someone that you really care about you know doing things for another girl being loyal you know spoiling them and you know just showing their affection to them when you wanted that so bad for yourself and it, it just sucks but at the same time it's like I'm 20 years old and I'm still learning and you know I have a lot to work on as well I need to focus on myself I need to focus on what makes me happy and it's just because like even though you love somebody you gotta love yourself before you love somebody else I would play them. and that's why I feel like I went wrong and I lost myself when being in a relationship for the, with the same person for three years I lost myself i lost what made me happy all i thought about was him 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 and i never thought about me 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 if that makes sense but yeah you just gotta you know keep yourself occupied and stay strong and it will work out in the long run because honestly like heartbreak hurts i don't care what nobody say it's not easy especially when you with someone for a really long time i ain't talking about no month two months three months four months five months i ain't talking about that i'm talking about probably like six months and up like six months and up it's like six is still a little like you know but six and up and three years come on out three years that's a long time with you know just one person so you know, I'm still healing. Um, I'm in a healing process right now. Um, I have my days where I'm good, and then I have my days, I have my Sundays. I would play them. 
you know, I have my days where I'm like, fuck that nigga, fuck, fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, fuck, fuck that nigga. And then I have my, you know, other days and be like, I don't want that nigga, want, want that nigga, want, want that nigga. You know, so there's there's days where, you know, you're sad and you're happy, you know, but you got to figure out how to maneuver and how to forget about that person because, you know, my ex is not thinking about me. And so why should I be thinking about him? If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? You just got to be your own boss. And yeah, those are my fucking tips. I don't think I have There's another fucking lady. There's another fucking lady. Every time I do a video, there's always fucking somebody. I swear to fucking God. And she fucking, she saw she a creep. Yeah, she just walked away after she saw me. I don't know what she trying to do. But yeah, but those are my tips. Another tip is to not necessarily find yourself someone new because I don't want y'all to like make somebody else think like they're a rebound or you're just using them to get over your ex. Don't do that. Be a hoe. <laughs> like, when you single, you can do what the fuck you want. So be a fucking hoe. If you want to talk to this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, then go talk to that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga. Like, I don't, like, I don't judge. Like, especially when you single. Like, if you take in, that's another different story. You just shouldn't be a hoe when you're in a relationship. When you're single, you can do what the fuck you want. I'm so sick of people, like, talking down about people that's single and da 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 If they want to... Fuck some niggas, they can fuck some niggas. If they want to talk to niggas, they can talk to niggas. But I just don't understand, like, I mean, there's a certain point where you be doing too much and you don't want to get around too much. But other than that, baby, you single. So I, that means what I do, what I want. Single, I'm single. I'm sing you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's like basically, did I give y'all five tips? That's basically it. Like, that's all you need. I hope this video helps. I know I'm just rambling, but if you guys enjoyed this video, take my advice. Really, really take my advice into consideration because I promise you, if you do those steps, baby, it'll work. Let me know in the comments that some tips on how to get your ex back. Let me know if you want that because I'll definitely do that. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.